good day to you wherever you are. I'm John Wright. Is anyone old enough to remember the nonprofit healthcare system in the US? Healthcare in the United States used to be a service to the public that expressed an American Christ like demeanor, right? The same Christ like demeanor that lost 600,000 men fighting for our freedoms in the Civil War to justify the sin created by the greed of man and his empire of chattel slavery. The Hilburton system is an example to the world of how kind Americans are. <clears throat> Since the British assassinated John F. Kennedy and their hijacking of the U.S. government through splendid isolation policies, the U.S. is run for financial purposes of the City of London. God-fearing Americans be damned unless you are a British loyalist, which is expressed through the love of money over country. <clears throat> like stockbrokers, bankers, and lobbyists, we have these British insurance companies who made <clears throat> their first billion dollars in the slave trade. These insurance companies are now masters of our society who control every inch of our economy. Every action we take here must be approved by London before it can be legally taken here in the United States. A friend of mine <clears throat> broke his leg falling off a roof in 2017. His bill was $92,000. $500 in aspirin. Awfully white of them, isn't it? I mean, awfully British of them, isn't it? If you think that the British are your friends, you need to think again. My friend broke his leg playing high school football in 1989. His hospital bill was less than $1,000. Neither of them had insurance. So why have the cost of health care gone up so much for the same procedures? It is because you are being robbed by your politicians, your friends, your allies, and your government in the name of health care. Right? <clears throat> so I'm going to go over a brief history of the U.S. healthcare system with you, right? Its rise and falls to educate the viewer on what he or she can do to replace the broken system we have now with a system that works better, right? <clears throat> the U.S. healthcare system today kills 250,000 people a year due to saving money and bad practices. This is because our healthcare system is run by British insurance companies, not doctors. The US healthcare system is the third leading cause of death in the United States. Remember George Washington? <clears throat> he was killed by his doctors. The healthcare system has been used as an arm of the fascist of our government from 1973 to smother the United States citizenry with debt and to murder us for profit. With friends like we have in Washington, D.C. and London, there is no room for any enemies abroad. Here is the introduction to the American Hill-Burton system of health care. Right? The Hill-Burton system, the U.S. Standard of Health Care, Part 1. In August 1946, a new federal health care law went into effect, which became known as the Hill-Burton Program. It was a nationwide hospital building program designed to provide the necessary number of staffed hospital beds per 1,000 people throughout the land, regardless of race, color, creed, gender, or the ability to pay. Prior to 1946, hospitals had evolved in differing local circumstances with wide disparities in the quality of their facilities. The only systematic hospital system which had been in effect provided health care to the Navy personnel by the Surgeon General and the Public Health Services. Right? <clears throat> the Hill-Burton standards changed all that. Its approach, which ought to be studied today, typified the post-war, do-the-job, infrastructure building, right? If the same approach were applied today, the Hill-Burton system could lead the way out of the crisis of spiraling health care costs combined with dr dr drastic degradation of our quality of health care. 
Hilburton system was designed to, one, <clears throat> assist several states in the carrying out of their programs for the construction and the modernization of such public and nonprofit community hospitals and other medical facilities as may be necessary, <clears throat> in conjunction with existing facilities to furnish an adequate hospital, clinic, and similar services to all people to stimulate the development of new and improved types of physical facilities for medical, diagnostic, preventive, treatment, or rehabilitative services, and to promote research, experiments, demonstrations relating to the effective development and utilization of hospital, clinic, or similar service facilities and resources and to promote the coordination of such research, experiments, and demonstrations and useful applications of their results. The differing regional and age bracket profiles called for differing numbers and types of equipment, facilities, and medics in order to provide the health care needed for the United States. Now, this is part one of the history of the U.S. health care system, right? I'm John Wright. Thank you very much. Have a great day wherever you are.